Hello, chemistry students, your tutor Jake here, and today we have this organic chemistry question. There are two different substances with the formula C4H10. Draw both and tell how they differ. Well, whenever we have a molecular formula that has different structures, well, that is going to be constitutional isomers, compounds with the same molecular formula but differ in the way that the atoms are connected. And whenever we have now a formula, that is of Cn, H, 2n plus 2, I know that that's going to be a saturated alkane. Saturated meaning that there are no rings and we have no double bonds. So if that's going to be the case, the way that I'm going to approach this problem is to first just draw a simple carbon chain that is going to be four long. All right, one, two, three, Four. This is just simple butane. And if you're not used to the skeletal structures right here, we could also draw a Lewis structure where we have simply four carbons in a row. But remember, if you're drawing a Lewis structure, you have to remember that you have to add in all of the atoms. Otherwise, you are technically not drawing the correct structure. So as I'm drawing in these hydrogens, we have to think about, well, what's the strategy that we're going to use when we have to now do something that's a little bit more complicated? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the last carbon that we have here, carbon number four, and I'm going to put it onto carbon number two. And now, why wouldn't I want to put it onto carbon number one? Well, if I put carbon number four onto carbon number one, we would still simply have a straight chain. So I need to now take this carbon number four and put it onto carbon number two. Now, one, two, three, four, we have different bond connectivity. Now, carbon number four is connected to carbon number two rather than carbon number four being connected to carbon number three. And again, if you were going to draw this as a Lewis structure, well, we would just simply put our three carbons in a row and then have our fourth carbon here coming off of the top. Now, remember, when we're doing this, we have to add in all of the hydrogens, okay? So here what we see is now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Perfect. Same thing over here. With this Lewis structure, we see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hydrogens, four carbons. These are now constitutional isomers with the same molecular formula of C4H10. This is your tutor, Jake. Be sure to like and subscribe. That will help my algorithm out quite a bit so that we can get more chemistry problems to more of you guys in need.